Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben Funkso Brother, Texas All Water Fishing. Today we're launching out here in West Bay again. We were gonna think about hitting the surf, but we changed our mind last minute. I'm out here with my friend Chad. We stopped this morning, bought some live shrimp. Thanks for coming back. Hopefully you'll catch us hooking up. Thanks. All right, so I'm gonna try to free line this shrimp. See what we can make happen here. I'm dropping down to the bottom. Chad said he was marking some fish about six feet below. So I'm gonna do a little free lining action and see how it goes from there. Nice sheep head. It's a nice, nice sheep head. It's a big one. There we go. Woo. Ah. Nice big sheep head. Well, it's not as big, not as big as I thought it was, but it's still a nice sheep head. He might be legal, but yeah. Freelining a shrimp with the Texas Rattler on it, little Texas Rattler weight on it, and uh, just says we're in a deep, real deep part. I think Chad was saying it's about 12 feet right here. So let's see. Oh, he is 15, 15 inch sheephead. First nice fish of the day. Not bad. We're gonna go in and let you go, partner. All right. Go back and. So a lot of times in the summertime when it's hotter, you find you can find these deep holes out here and it would hold some nice trout, maybe some reds, but most of the guys I know will hunt for some nice trout in these deep holes. Nice to see a sheephead though. We were fishing shallower over there and fishing uh, against the uh, oyster reef and um, just one coming up with nothing, just a bunch of small little bites. Uh, could see bigger squirrels, larger fish around us, larger fish on his fish finder, but um, this wasn't producing anything, so I decided to swing over here and free line a shrimp and see if we can find something in a little deeper part. We got lucky. Got a nice sheep head. So drop this free line down again and um, let the shrimp do its thing down there. I will shake it every once in a while, get that little rattle, and see if I can uh, entice a red or a uh, trout to bite free line another one and there's a nice hit look like a red maybe undersized but no ah, he might be 20 inches he might be a 20 inch red we'll see he wants to go around this way oh yeah oh no what is that that is a huge skipjack oh my gosh look how big this thing is it's called a skipjack this right here poor man's tarpon it's huge, probably about the biggest one I've ever caught. They're great for uh, they're great for um, shark fish, shark bait. Yeah, probably that's the biggest skipjack I ever caught. But see, I'm free lining. So what you do is you put a little weight or no weight on it, put your shrimp on it, just let it fall down to the bottom, or let the shrimp do its thing. Yeah, I've been sitting still the whole time. They act crazy though. These guys are nuts. Look how big this skipjack is. And of course, I caught my net. But this guy, ooh, I caught him in the eye. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's gross. But they are slimy slimers. Look how big that skipjack is. I knew you're gonna act like that. Stop acting like that, okay? You're gonna get slime all over my lens and all over me. Oh my goodness, you came off. Let me see if I can grab him. Get a fast measurement on him and I'll put him back in the water. 
get a fast measurement on him. I'll put him back in the water. Pinched your tail. So let's see where he's going to be at. He is 21 and a half inches. So he got a 21 and a half inch that he just took a dump all over me. He just pooped all over my kayak? Oh my god, what a jerk. Nice skipjack. 21 and a half. Let him go. Ah. Dude. I'm like literally covered in poop. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, he got off. He got off. He got off. Ah, not there. Hit and run. Oh, there we go. Oh, he got off. What a punk. He was little, though. Nope, he broke me off. So that's pretty much going to do it for us today. Myself, I caught a 15 inch sheephead and about a 21 and a half inch skipjack or poor man's tarpon. Chad ended up with a nice 23 inch red and unfortunately the tax man got him. 23 inch red was gobbled up by a shark, one of our toothy friends. But, appreciate everybody. Wish we could have done better out here. The uh, water's got a little crowded, sky got a little warmer, and uh, pretty much time to pack it in. The bite just kind of fell off. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, notification button. We appreciate you. And to all our regular viewers and subscribers out there, thank you all for coming back. Hopefully next time, I'll see you all real soon. And y'all can catch me hooking up. Thanks.